I will rock and roll induction weekend 2022. I am joined here by Doris Welly, and I would love to ask her a couple questions. First of all, tell us all about the things that you've been doing this weekend to get ready for the big festivities. Well, you know, we want everybody that comes to have a great time, the inductees, their families, and all of their friends and relatives that come to Okoboji and to the Iowa Rock and Roll Museum and the Hall of Fame and all the activities. So we try to plan something for all ages and we try to have something that everybody can enjoy, not just the individual, but as families. Can you share about some of the events that have gone on this weekend? We had uh, the talent contest, the young people. That was this afternoon. We had a, a great time last night all getting together. Uh, we've, we've had music out on the patio. We've had, uh, you know, the inductees had a party. Tonight we're celebrating our 25th anniversary, and that's a really special landmark for all of us. And, of course, then tomorrow comes the induction concert and the induction ceremony, so there's a lot going on. And how many volunteers does it take to make all of this run smoothly? It takes many volunteers. I'll bet we probably have um, 25 to 30 in the various times all weekend that will participate and help us. We couldn't do it without volunteers. Definitely could not do it. And even like this weekend and this year has been made just magnified because it's the 25th anniversary as well. So thinking back um, over the past years, what is a favorite memory of yours? Oh, wow. I've been here a long time, since 2001. And I, I don't know, I don't have a favorite. I think the favorite thing I have is all of the wonderful musicians from all over the country that I've gotten to meet and spend time with and enjoy listening to. Um, yeah, it's just been a fun ride, very fun. <laughs> Well, I want to say on behalf of the board of directors and everybody that's worked here, and we just are so thankful for everything that you do and the time that you put in and the effort to make this such a special, wonderful experience. I mean, not this, just this year, but every year and all of the things that you do. So thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope everyone continues to keep this on. You know, we're not getting any younger. So we certainly hope that everybody younger than us picks up the, the tab and keeps going because this is something very vital to the lifestyle of those of us in the Midwest and especially in Iowa. Music is it. So I think this is about the time that's appropriate for a plug for Iowa Rock and Roll. Can you tell a little bit how somebody might become involved or who they can contact to volunteer? Well, they can call our museum, check the website, uh, and check Facebook, because being a member helps to keep the music going, keeps the music alive, helps us to instill in the young people the desire to keep the music alive. So by all means, consider becoming a member and helping a 501c3 nonprofit like we are to be, stay and to keep growing. I agree with every word of that. IowaRockandRoll.com is the website. Thank you, Doris, again for everything you do, and thank you for your time sharing this story with everyone here today. Thank you so much.